Basically, every time we make a new board, we learn things. So inevitably, each new board is a step up from anything we've done in the past. And the Stratos is a great example of that. What's exciting though with the Stratos is we started it um, with this no end date and we're like, let's just take all these concepts that we've been thinking about both from a shape perspective and a material perspective and play around with it. So Xavier Nidecker, he's always pushing manufacturing and so he went down this road with this board. We're gonna call it a Project X, which is um, the one board that we do that um, really just to push the envelope on manufacturing specifically. Um, like traditionally a Project X is, you know, it's our most expensive board. And I'm like, can we take the, the benefits of this board and dumb it down so it's more accessible because we don't have a board that rides like this in the range. And if I'm this excited about it, uh, I think other people are gonna be excited about it. I had someone recently ask me why it's, um, you know, what's the difference between that and an Ultra Mind Expander? Well, it's got more camber, which means it's got more snap, which means it holds better on bulletproof ice because it really is like, true tip to tail camber, but then we add um, the most spoon we've ever put on a board. So you have this like freedom and quickness of the nose coupled with the benefits of full camber. The Stratos is just this really snappy, awesome edge hold and truly this like do everything board. The Stratos is definitely a one board quiver but also incredibly versatile. And we normally don't say that, but with the Stratos, we can. Oh, holy sh 2020. We're talking about the camber. This is the new design that comes out this fall. Uh, what's up? My name's Jacob Krugmeyer. I'm Max Warmington, I ride for GNU Snowboards. Another board I've been spending a lot of time on is the Rider's Choice. Uh, I love that board for all terrain, pretty much. I ride the 57 or the 54 if I'm trying to hit some rails or something, but mostly go 57 for POW and for POW jumps. It's a good Rider's Choice. Yeah, C2, great all mountain board. Of course, magnet jacket, come on. Get out of here, I would never ride a board that doesn't have magnet jacket, please. I love the ASIM. I'm a big, huge fan of ASIM. I like Mervyn Manufacturing just because of the people who are around and the, the whole, the history and just having to be in the U.S., Washington, Northwest. It's everything you could want really in a snowboard brand and I couldn't be happier to be a part of it because it's just, yeah, they're real snowboarders who make the boards, real snowboarders who make all the de upper decisions. Yeah, they've done so much for snowboarding and so much for uh, me and all my friends that I just have a lot of respect and I'm stoked to be involved with Mervyn. Here we have the 2021 Ripsaw. It's our stiff flex, aggressive, all-mount and true twin. The Ripsaw was the originator of the Ripsaw rocker camber. So you have aggressive camber on tip and tail for the edge hold and power while still maintaining the float and forgiveness of that rocker between the feet. The Ripsaw is our stiffest flex true twin because it features more fiberglass than any board in the line. It's got our STS pre-tensioned fiberglass, the Bylight fiberglass layers, and it also has a layer of Triax glass to give it that stiffness and stability. It's stable at speeds, it's damp, take it off jumps, take it through the park, the trees, the steeps, ride it switch because it's true twin. Our pipe rider, Chase Blackwell, prefers it for ripping up pipe walls. It has a ton of edge hold for the hard pack, 
Take it anywhere, true twin. The rip saw is insane. Scott Newsom, we're here in the Monashies at Eagle Pass Heli Skiing. We got my new Yes split board out for the first day. We uh, we've been designing this for almost a year now, and uh, just did my first run on it, going downhill, and it was uh, like a rocket ship. It's a pretty awesome board. Um, now I'm gonna split it up and go for a little walk here. Taking the powerful and versatile outline of our Optimistic, we sized it for the needs of our team and partners at Eagle Pass Heli. We then designed and developed an intelligent, lightweight, and highly reliable clip system with our friends at Spark R&D that maintains the torsional integrity of the solid Optimistic. <laughs> 